Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Tuesday, and while I have a little bit of free time on my hands, I thought it would be fun to do a video for the YouTube channel talking about my recent uh, venture, uh, submitting a uh, contest entry to the uh, legendary Tetsuka contest in Shonen Jump Magazine for its 100th anniversary, this contest was uh, made uh, opened uh, internationally uh, through uh, the Metabang app. And once I saw that, I, uh, you know, really kind of dropped everything in terms of leisure time and really focused my energies on uh, producing a good manga uh, to the best of my abilities for this contest. You know, it's uh, always been a dream of mine to be published in Shonen Jump. That's That's really the high watermark for me because I love Japanese action manga, I love the facial expressions, I love the energy, I love the character designs, I love the anime adaptations, I love the personalities of the creators. So this was a really nice opportunity for me and it was a lot of fun drawing this manga and my son who's three drew right next to me the whole time. Uh, Akira Toriyama and uh, Inoue from Slam Dunk are both judges on this panel. Oda from One Piece. And those are some of my absolute favorite anime and manga. Dragon Ball is really the reason I got into drawing anime. Uh, because of the combination of being uh, kind of charming, cute, expressive, masculine, and kind of pissed off all at the same time in those expressive designs. And... Uh, Slam Dunk has got a very beautiful character designs, and I remember I watched the whole series when my son was a newborn uh, with him right next to me. So lots of uh, emotional uh, and uh, kind of personal history with Shonen Jump, and I hope you enjoy my manga, uh, Blood of the Best. Um, the manga itself was uh, easier to draw than the process of uploading <laughs> the manga, uh, mainly because the paper that I drew this on was so large and I could not find a photocopier or scanner that could actually hold the paper. So I took pictures of the paper, uh, you know, by mounting it on my wall. So hopefully this is aesthetically pleasing and digestible. Um, this may have been a bit of an amateurish mistake, uh, depending on how big I wanted the panels that kind of alternated between landscape and portrait style. So hopefully that's not off-putting, but hopefully you also enjoy the character designs, the story, and uh, my art style. Lots of really strong entries in this contest. So uh, all I've got going for me is I can hopefully just put out a charming, unique, and fun story with some vibrant artwork. So without further ado, it's The Blood of the Best by Noel Comics. Here we go. So we start off at, in heaven at St. Peter's Gym. Hey, you are three months behind on your gym bill. And we see this guy boxing down here. Hit in the speed bag. Brother. You made a terrible choice and turned on those who cared for you. Earth, last year. Binghamton University, home of Paul Reiser. Remember, our job as guardian angels is to protect and observe. Hito and Lenz are two guardian angels. They protect and observe a college campus. However, Lenz became enamored with the teachings of a philosophy professor. And we see Hito and Lenz. Oh, the sniveling banality. Those one-dimensional peons will never understand my glory with their sitcoms and their Christianity. If I were in charge, Laverne and Shirley would be a socialist drama. Swoon before my mighty will. A historical period where I don't get my way is truly a dark time. This man has the intellect of a spoiled five-year-old. Glorious. Wait, what? You can't be serious. For years, I always felt lesser than others. With these ideas, I can become a Superman. We are angels. We are the embodiment of holy concepts. I am perspective, and you are happiness. Endless dissatisfaction means 
your life will always have meaning. The project to overcome dissatisfaction will bring purpose and thus happiness. Being miserable will make you happy? That is malcontent intellectual thrashing masquerading as logic. Please, your logic is nothing more than the will of another. Be free and throw a glorious temper tantrum. This line of thinking can't end well for you. I'd like to, as it were, move to the topic of the movie Heathers. In the movie Heathers, a magnificent ubermensch tries to blow up his school. Of course, he fails because the world of white male capitalist hegemony isn't that interesting. Oh, for a wonderful apocalypse that would end this smudging on of capitalist prosperity. The philosopher Baudrillard was right. American hegemony is a robotic destruction of reality. Hmm, robots? Destruction of reality? I'll do it. I'll become a mafia boss and destroy the world with a robot army. Destroy the world? Surely not before my tenure-meeting cocktail party and professorial orgy. Death to those who hinder my will. And so we see Lens here doing an energy shot and killing this professor as his last words are, My agency. Lens then turns to attack Hito before releasing a gigantic energy attack and saying, Kneel before me. While college students run for their lives. Lens took over the college campus. He soon began experimenting on students and professors to build a bio-robot army. Only two students were strong enough to survive the testing. A female women's history student, Anita Gelato, and a male sociology student, Neil Boogerman. So we see the two successful experiments right here. While hordes of really messed up people that look kind of part rat are just hanging out in the background. In fact, I think if we zoom in here, it's a little hard to see. But his pad there says rat DNA 60%. Hito was easily defeated by Lenz. He trained daily to become stronger than Lenz, his brother and former mentor. He trained tirelessly in boxing and Muay Thai. The only times he ever stopped training were to play his favorite video game and make health shakes. Finding typical campus students and professors too weak to endure his bio-robot converting, Lenz decided to hold a fighting tournament to find the strongest people on campus. The prize for winning? One million dollars. Lenz. Masahana Michi is a undercover detective pursuing Lenz. In order to find his cyber in order to fund his cybernetic experiments, Lenz became a prominent crime boss. The once great city of Binghamton, New York, is now awash in poverty, drugs, and joblessness. The police send Massa to catch Lenz. And we see uh, the effects of the city under Lenz's, uh, you know, influence. That moon looks a lot like Mac tonight. Happy accident there. Uh, Massa studies history at Binghamton University. He is also an accomplished brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. His reputation as a fighter earned him an invitation to the tournament. Massa heads to the library tower where the tournament will take place. Lens. All you have to do to be historically relevant in these books is to use will to power to affect change over time by challenging white male capitalist patriarchy. Write about that and you have a career. Heh, that's the name of the game. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt your studying. I can't seem to keep quiet when I read. No worries, I'm just killing time before the fighting tournament. I'm also here for the tournament. Aren't you a little old for fighting? <laughs> Gotta do something to vent after gender studies uh, seminar. Uh, I hear that. I'm Hito. Masa's the name. I wonder how long we'll have to wait for someone to tell us where to go. Hey guys, I'm Vic. I'll be taking you to the tournament. Follow me. Through the non-binary gender neutral poop empowerment safe space. We'll slide down this pole. Uh, I'm sorry. We'll slide down this pole behind this secret passageway. 
Just a few more miles, guys. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Give us this day our daily bread. Oh, it was a bad idea to put asparagus and bananas in that smoothie. This way, guys. Secret knock knock. See if you can step onto the sparring runway and not get killed. The boss will be here soon. We see our uh, group of uh, entrants. In fact, if you look in the uh, left corner there in the crowd, you will see the judges to the contest. Ooh, the boss is here. Welcome, peons. Bastard, I will get you. Bastard, I will get you. He's so cool. He really is the Ubermensch. Think of today as a getting to know you. Survive today's sparring if you can. The real fight will start tomorrow. Fighters will be paired randomly against each other. The winner will receive one million dollars. But not before you beat me. Masa, who's that crazy muscular girl up there? That's Anita Gelato. She's in my 20th century women's history class. Yoo-hoo, Masa. I have an idea. Huh? Lens. Heh, <laughs> you came. You've got guts. I will be the one who beats you. And once I get that million, I'm donating it to a Baptist Bible college. R ridiculous. Your banality will never win. Justice is nothing more than the triumph of my beautiful, brutal, and brilliant will. I have an idea. Come to my apartment for dinner. I'm cooking. Bring a straw. Uh, okay. It's Hito's place. Knock, knock. Mm. Mm. Heavy breathing. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, hey, this is Mocha. Did you domesticate a diabetic raccoon? I rent the I rent a room upstairs. Mocha is the boss of the house. She's the landlord's cat. I am an expert at making smoothies. So did you invite me over to watch you make smoothies? I know how to beat Lens. Leave that to me. Don't get this the wrong way. You can't beat him. I like my chances. He's not human. You're a cop, right? I get it. He's a drug dealer. Nah, bro, I'm thuggish and ruggish. I've got the living single DVD box set. East Coast. There's a donut stain on your hoodie. The donut shop around the corner gives strawberry and custard donuts to cops. Every Thursday, that stain is strawberry and custard. Let's hope you can observe Len's fists as well as you can observe donut stains. Lens and I are angels. He's my brother. He's become a demon now. Like the demon Kogore? Awesome! See how you like this. Pfft, that's awful. It's made from the blessed fruits and vegetables from the Garden of Eden. I probably shouldn't have used asparagus and bananas. I feel vigorous! The fruits and vegetables from the Garden of Eden re-energizes and amplifies one's vitality and power. For an angel who trains daily, the boost of power can be exponential. Ah! We have a nice transformation scene here. I need you to help me beat Lens. Um, okay. I have an attack that is sure to kill him. However, Lens may be too fast for me to hit. I need two people to hold him in place. When your classmates panic, you will step on the spider. Anita's pre-existing attraction to you will spike. Take this opportunity to ask her out. On your date, butter her up and ask her to put me against Lens in the first slot in the tournament. You need to charm her. Make her see Lens is the inferior option to you. On your date, create a fun-filled romantic opportunity for physical intimacy. Sex? She prays that one day you two will marry, but she feels conflicted. That's crazy. She's a militant feminist, and you've expressed pro-life views in seminar. 
With your jujitsu and her massive upper body strength, you two can hold Lens in place while I hit him with my unbeatable move. I call it the Kojak attack. What if this doesn't work? Then what? You and Anita will have to beat Lens on your own. After my Kojak attack, my energy will be gone. It's a high-risk, high-reward move. But if it hits, there's a 100% chance Lens will die. It will be over. Sigh. Okay, I'm in. Let's do this. Don't worry about Neil Boogerman. I'm going to lock him in a broom closet. Seems reasonable. It's the day... The next day at the Women's History Seminar... So as we can clearly see, emotionally unbalanced men cling to patriarchy as a way to rob women of their freedoms, but women remain gallant, powerful, and of course, defiant. So let's begin our discussion on our first of three weekly books. Question. Yes, April. In her book, Off to the Races, Progressive Era Horse Racing, Sex Workers' Reproductive Autonomy and Agency in Rural Indiana, would it be right to argue that the author states that Indiana sex workers use their agency to impose their heroic will on a random contingent world filled with patriarchy to affect change over time? Of course! Nod. Psst. We must remember the trope of the 1950s housewife has no place in today's historiography and spider, 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 please ladies, ladies remain calm, remember your empowerment. I can't take this anymore, stay back, ow you bitch, get off me you fat ass. Hey Anita, would you like pizza? I'm sorry, Anita, do you like pizza? Yes, do you want to... Not pay for your next pizza. Sure. And if any of you think this last scene is sexist, I can assure you it's based on a very real experience I had in my women's history class where every woman in the class, except for me and the professor, freaked out over a spider while going on about the strength of women, etc. So, I mean, it is what it is. Funny slice of life. Uh, Night of the Fighting Tournament. Free matcha lattes. Hey, would you like a free matcha latte? Hmm? Free matcha latte? A coffee shop here? I thought this was a broom closet. We just opened. Hmm, a free hot drink before the fights does sound nice. Right through here. Psh! Help me drag him inside. Let's board this up before he wakes up. That guy is such a jerk. Last night in seminar, he said, I internalize misogyny by inviting the male gaze. Fight night at the tournament. Hey, Masa, how was your date, Mr. Stud? Things got physical in the parking lot. I felt my pancreas. I tasted copper. You dated Anita Gelato? Her thighs are said to be as strong as ten Hulk Hogan's. Did she agree to help? You'll get your damn match. Ah, hey, killer, I got us some seats. What have I done? <laughs> Welcome, peons, bask in my glory. The tournament will now begin. The winner will become my top-tier bio-android slave. I mean, win one million dollars and become a fighting legend. You look at this panel, we see all the judges of the competition. Like the manga competition. The real life competition. Fourth wall break there. Now, for your enjoyment and mine, the first match will start. Fight one. Hito Matsu versus Lens Man. Ah! I had hoped I wouldn't have to stain my hands with your blood so soon, but your so-called god has fated you to die at my glorious hands from the get-go. <laughs> You intend to fight... I'm sorry, you intend to use peekaboo boxing against me? Time to separate the men from the boys. And separate your head from your body. Fight. So, we're going for a 1-3 uh, duck. And then a 5 for our punch combos there. 
So we get a, uh, an action scene. To think a guy like you was able to get, that was able to get the upper hand on me, if only for a brief moment. But you are not the Ubermensch. You lack the willful glory of Dave Coulier when he bore his fangs at God and dumped Alanis Morissette. I was going to listen to these CDs on the way home, but I think I'll let you have them. Double Disc Boomerang Kata! See, another fighting scene as Hito has taken a brutal shot and Lenz does a gliding baseball slide and knocking Hito to the ground. Uh, Hito is then thrown his Garden of Eden fruit smoothie uh, by Masa, who yells, Hito! And then Hito replies, thank you. So he drinks his smoothie, he transforms, and yells, Guys, now! Where Anita Gelato and Masa grab Lens. See how this makes you feel. Kojak attack! But out of nowhere, Neil Boogerman jumps in front of the energy blast, putting everyone into a state of shock. Neil Boogerman, who has been blasted in half, and that is exactly how spines work. You're uh, really connected uh, like two chicken legs, and that is a very real anatomically correct thing that is happening on the floor right there. Don't question it. Boogerman. That weakling Hito must have trapped you. Then you escaped to save me. What magnificent filial piety. Don't make me laugh. I did this to show my strength to my unrequited love Anita Gelato before I kill us all. I endured your experiments because of my ability to withstand pain after years of romantic rejection. You infused us with rat DNA so our skeletons would be malleable enough to endure your brutal procedures. You threw your failed experiments next to failed batches of your synthetic drugs. The adrenaline rushes your drugs create has given them incredible strength and a ravenous addiction. They are nothing more than embodiments of power and desire, the true essence of authenticity. They will feed on us all, and I will lead them. Now let us return to the void in an existential orgy of truly democratic destruction. A Woodstock for the new millennium. Feast on us, my comrades. Bring your Dionysian reckoning upon us. And we see the bio-android rat people have busted through the door, causing Lens to be in a state of shock. Uh, Neil Boogerman is already being eaten like a chicken leg. And uh, we see this creepy uh, uh, rat man down here, who seems to be of a uh, conservative persuasion with his Dole Kemp 96 t-shirt. Are you my dinner? Stay back. You can't eat me. It would be immoral. You'll be on the wrong side of history. Please, God, help. No, wait, I have an idea. I'll use my cunning and audacity and run. <laughs> Why am I so smart? I have the gallantry and magnificence of a Greek god. Trip. Propane? No, I can't possibly die in such an absurd and banal way. Historians of the future, ignore the irony of my death and swoon over my brutal and brilliant will. Boom. Well, that appears to be the end of Lens right there as his head is clearly detached from the rest of his body as Hito watches on as the whole tournament area is awash in flames and people getting eaten by uh, bio-android mutant rats. Damn it. I'm too weak to move. Everything's getting destroyed. I'm losing consciousness. Anita, look out! I guess I fell short of my duty. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry, my friends. I wonder what happens to an angel after death. Food! Slash! This bio-android rat man that was going to attack Hito has been mysteriously slashed in half. Who? It can't be. You're... We're leaving. <laughs> Mocha! How? How? 
get on my back. I'm sorry, we're getting your friends, get on my back. And Mocha is just all kinds of powered up here. And uh, really just slashing away at all the uh, mutant rat uh, people feasting on others. And Mocha has rescued both Hito, who's unconscious, and Ida Gelato, who's unconscious, Masa, who's unconscious, and uh, Vic, he's there with his I Love Webster shirt, just because, I mean, come on, he's just so fun to draw and likable, and uh, we gotta rescue him. And uh, Paul Reiser, our favorite son, the statue which burns so bright is now just crumbled like a scene from Planet of the Apes in the flames and destruction that has become the Binghamton University Library Tower, home of this mysterious and shady underground fighting tournament run by this fallen angel crime boss who took over the university with his power. Mocha at Hito's house is where we are in this panel here. I'm home! Oh good, you're okay. Hello, St. Peter. Roderick Duke, my old philosophy for professor that Lens killed when he chose to become a demon? It turns out I wasn't good enough to go to heaven or bad enough to go to hell. So St. Peter gave me a second chance. Old Roderick here was a brilliant thinker, but also an embodiment of everything wrong with academia. If Roderick can correct the moral standards of the students he corrupted, he can go to heaven. I knew it was too late for Lens, but I can improve your moral standards. St. Peter says you're two months behind on your gym membership. I told Mocha to drink an Eden fruit smoothie so she could power up and save you. If you died, who would play with me, play with and feed me? Or pay my gym fees? Ha 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 ha. Executive producer, Noel Comics. This is maybe a Miller Boyette production. Uh, use your own judgment on that. Uh, in fact, I actually used Miller Boyette production executive producer uh, uh, font as a model for that text right there. Ooh, look, it's a commercial. And we have Gene Hockman here for Corin Dry Root Beer. Root Beer. Dry, dry. I just walked in here two hours ago and, ah, oh, come on, I... Hmm, you're really something. Okay, dry, dry. It's Corin Dry, dry root beer. Shin Hatsubai. Doo-doo. And there you have it, guys. That is blood of the best. My Jump Comics Contest entry, story and art by Noel Comics. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, comment with your feedback. And until next time, guys, my name is Noel. You take care, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.